Welcome back everyone to another episode of our Let's Play in Minecraft. What is this? I did not do that. What is that? Is my world glit? I'm just kidding. I did that. <laughs> but I wouldn't be surprised if that happened randomly. I am making a conveyor belt from the mine going over this way so it can look like we actually deliver our goods that we mine up from there to our portal. We'll work more on that later. I'm also adding some like support beams every so often, adding some new pipes, pouring out. I miss working in the nether. And as you can tell by the thumbnail and probably title of the video as usual, we are getting into robotics. So I'm gonna have one major design of a robot in this nether, but it's going to be a very versatile robot. We're gonna have a changing station where it can look like we change the hands on it. So it could either be drilling, picking up things, walking through lava. I'm really excited for this. Let's go ahead and build our first robot. But first, I need a derpy cookie. Okay, so first things first, I know for a fact, I want one in here. And I'm going to make a place where we mass produce these and I want to have a line of them. That would look so cool. I want to put one right here, as if we're working on one in here. I might have to move those chests. But it makes me think I need to put like a garage door style there. <laughs> oh. What is that? Huh. Okay, let me just go ahead and build the robot first. So one thing about this robot is it's going to be big. Maybe. It's about one, two, three. Yeah, probably like the head will be around there. Just hope it'll fit in here. I don't think it will. <laughs> Yes, I'm going to use precious anvils for this, but it looks good. There it is. That is going to be our nether robot. Much more impressive than our lab robot, I would say. So this one is just going to be in here for maintenance, of course. Um, I'm going to make a mass robot building facility. Well, should I do that? Like a factory in the nether? I want to make these joints swappable, same as the legs, because I want to make some tall versions, make them look like they're walking through the lava carrying stuff. And they actually look cool because I put a campfire in the middle of them, right above this block. It's empty right there. So I want to make it look like I'm working on it right now. And steam comes out from the top. I should put some scaffolding in the back to make it look like I'm working on it. Does that look good? Oh yeah. Oh, that's cool. It drips lava. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Hey Bob, how you doing? So I made another design. I actually really like the way this one turned out. This one is, well, clearly carrying a piece of land from the nether. It's taking a giant step. And I think I want to build this, obviously out in the lava, as if it's transferring a giant clump of quartz to a nearby place wherever we want to take it. I've been trying to experiment with some other little robots, but I don't think anything with a wheel on the bottom would do good in the nether. So I'm just going to build robots like this all throughout the nether. It does take a lot of resources to build these guys, but I think they will be worth it. I mean, I honestly don't need these anvils here. It's just the only... There's three different blocks in this game that look really good for robots. And it is these three right here. And plus the deep slate blocks look really good. I wish we had more stuff like this. Oh, hey. You have a saddle. I'd ride you right now, but I am busy. Okay, buddy? Oh my god, yes. Oh, that looks so good in front of the mine. It looks like he's taking out chunks for us and dumping them somewhere. Oh, I love it. I know you can actually make moving robots in this game with slime blocks pistons and other various blocks but i don't know how to do that and it's really hard to make them look good now this for example all dark blocks oh it looks so good it looks like he he belongs here if you want to make this yourself these are all the blocks you will need besides gravel um and i guess you can get a basic glimpse here of how to build it I mean, can you? I mean, you can kind of look at this and see how to build it. I now replace these with cauldrons, though, because it looks better. And then I get rid of this toe when I put it in lava. Many hours have passed. Don't know how much that equates to how much work I've done, but I'm working in here. Ah, hey, portals. 
So this is now not the robot fixing area, but I am gonna keep this one in here. Maybe this is my own personal one I'm working on, but I'm building a whole nother building out here and it is right here. I cleared all this out. You remember how ugly this used to look? It was actually like all the way up to here, full of basalt, but I cleared it all out. We got a clear view all out there. I'm making a massive building here. Well, massive compared to that. It's about double the height. Um, this is gonna be a tall door right here that the robots can walk in on. Standing right now. Yeah, I think right here, I'm just gonna have giant chains holding up the tall robots where I can work on it. And right here, I'm gonna have a very like complicated steampunk system kind of similar to what we put in the factory because we do have this futuristic modern vibe we're going with in here but i also want to start implementing some steampunk stuff yeah so let's continue with the work we've been doing huh, huh. hi how are you okay so um got the whole outside done kind of like i did the mine as you guys saw last time now Gotta figure out how I wanna connect all this and make it look good. I'm gonna arch these, maybe this one too. Let me just experiment with it and see how it turns out. I tell you what, there is nothing worse than using these when you have electric rings on. All right, that looks a little bit better. So now, this is where, like I said, the robot's gonna stand and I'm gonna have these robots all along the walls extending with arms that are fixing this robot. <laughs> robots fixing robots. And then right here, I think I'm going to put like a steam-powered engine that looks like it's going to be powering those arms. All right, y'all. I finished. Well, no, I didn't. It's far from done, but this is kind of what I come up with. I'm following that design I found out from that guy called like Average Tuna Sandwich, and I built this in my lab. I did it my own way. Um, put some gears up top, make it look like this stuff. Uh, pressure system for I guess it's steam powered or something but I don't know but here's a cool trick you can do as well make a banner like that and put this make it look like a lever and some water levels and I love that in the nether this actually spins around so it looks like the pressure is changing um, but I got this like mock system around it make it look like it's a bunch of arms with drill bits taking the machine apart I was thinking about doing one off there make me take the head off a little bit but I need to somehow convert that to a machine right here to make it look like it's actually connected to that um, but first of all I did just go ahead and place all of this polished basalt down that I smelted but I kind of want to do my furnace trick where you place down all furnaces for the floor and then use pistons to make wires go across the floor it's gonna take a lot of work but I do have a lot of cobblestone in the world let's try that Oh man, I need iron so bad. I did actually just get a lot of iron recently, but I already went through it, just building stuff in the nether. One day we'll find with them big ore veins. One day. Also gotta decide what kind of shutter doors I wanna put on here. Okay, um, is that enough? <laughs> oh, I destroyed my iron for these pistons, but it'll look good. I just hope I don't ever, well, I don't ever accidentally right click. This is a cool floor. I want to try my floor. That actually doesn't look too bad. That's a cool shop floor. All right. So, um, I think I'm just going to run them from this area and maybe one go to there and there to those, I guess those are hydraulics of some sort. Yeah, let's try it out. There we go. Yeah. Look at that. Looks like a wire on the floor. Of course, I'm going to have to add some sort of lighting in here, but wait. I don't think mobs spawn on this, do they? I'm not sure. All right. This place is coming together. Another thing is, of course, the dropper and dispenser have holes. <laughs> they look like the same. Um, okay, that one's... Is this one bigger? No. Oh, wait. Do you like those beams, by the way? I make them look very supported, as if they are supporting the roof. I think I might put another one under that one, but clear it out some. I kind of like those. They look cool. Um, oh, this has brown around the edges, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, but it doesn't look bad. Okay, yeah, that works, definitely. Oh, yeah, this is brown, too. Cool, so these areas where the pipes are going into the ground, I think these smokers look best. Hmm. 
Hmm. I forgot to add the arms completely. I don't know how I forgot that. Well, I want to make it look like the arms are detached, so they are being worked on in some way. Um, so this is going to come down to here. Actually, I need to go boom, boom. Get rid of this one. Go up a block. Place that right there, because with the pointy end down here, now we can place that right there. These are like the arms, I'm guessing, like the pinchers or whatever. The something. Dude, okay, these guys do spawn in here, and it's really annoying. Uh, something like that? Yeah, so that was detached from there. This arm, I'm going to set it on the ground, just make it look like it's working on the joint. Dude, you guys are annoying. I'm playing on peaceful, I know. Do you actually expect me to play on a hard mode in here with all this? <laughs> Ooh, did I just discover? Oh my god. Please don't be a wrong color. Oh, that goes so well. We have arrows. Look at that. Oh, wait, and as well. That kind of works too. Hmm, how can I implement this in here? There we go. I think that looks pretty cool. I could add some more stuff if I really wanted to, but I think that's a finished product. I added some more smokers over here to make it look like an arm is coming out of here. This is, I guess, the right arm, um, and this one's just not doing anything. <laughs> I'm so excited about all these blocks and how similar they are, so we can start doing these cool floor patterns. We could actually even do it on the wall, too, if we really needed to somewhere. Still some more work done to be in here, but let's go do something else now. I'm still working on it. I just extended that up there, make it actually look a little bit better. Now our little tool set here and some papers. Why not? Change of plans. I guess we're staying in the nether today, which I don't mind. I am really in the nether mood. Sometimes people don't like building or watching episodes in the nether, but... Ever since the nether update, I feel like it's a lot more interesting to be in. Um, okay, so I have my nether gear on, so these guys won't attack me. I have my difficulty up. I'm curious to see if there's going to be gas that spawn around here. I am going over to the fortress to collect blaze rods because, as you see, I decorate these buildings in end rods, and I need some along these pillars. Therefore, I need blaze rods... So, in between this episode and the next, I'm going to try to transfer a lot of my villagers throughout my lab and actually, whoa, put them in their, what the, in their places. Oh my god, what's happening? Why is it so slow? What the heck? But as I was saying, I'm going to try to get these guys moved throughout the lab. I know I've got a few more I need to name, and I still got to pick the Instagram follower. Uh, if you didn't catch last episode, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm going to pick one of you lucky random people and you'll become the captain of my space station sleepy time no one take my bed this is my bed i will literally cut your head off if you take my bed i didn't mean that youtube don't demonetize me i'll go ahead and read today's common question of the day it comes from metric fuse hey dallas why didn't you fulfill your dream of becoming a seal so i think i've only mentioned this once before back in high school when i was at the end of my days in high school becoming a college student i had a real passion for becoming just a U.S. Navy SEAL. There was actually nothing I wanted more for a couple years than that. Like I trained in the gym for a while. I got really fit and healthy and I went to the recruitment office and I was even talking to them and I was prepared to sign papers and I had a date to sign them. There was nothing more in the world that I wanted to do than go to Bud's training. I think back then and now, there's a frog over here. I, I like even now I think this, I want nothing but great things for me in my life. And knowing that becoming a U.S. Navy SEAL would be one of the highest honors anyone could have, and just the journey you'd go on alone and how much it changes your life, how disciplined you become from it. All those little things just I wanted so badly. I still remember this exactly. It was like a week from I was going to go talk to them and sign some papers, and that's when my YouTube channel started taking off a little bit. I had a surplus of subscribers within a month. It was right at that time I actually started making enough money off of this where I could quit my job at a place called Shoe Sensation. <laughs> and right there, my life just got flipped around. I'm like, holy crap. I started looking at other YouTubers and how far I could take my channel just like them. And I was like, okay, I want this to be my future now. But sometimes I wonder how different my life would be if that didn't happen. 
But when you think about something that you were about to do and then you think how different your life would be, remember, there's a lot of cons that come with it. There's not, it's not just pros. Maybe you don't like your situation you're in now. Don't think that your life would be completely better if you chose that alternative route. Because I can point out a bunch of negatives in my life right now. Like I'm wanting to change so much in my life. But I'm, that's the problem with a lot of us. We always focus on the negatives and we don't lay it out and see how, mu how many positive things we have in our life right now. Like me, for example, I'm really starting to learn that. As much as I could have probably explored the world, got really fit, very disciplined, be highly respected, if I chose that route, there's also a lot of things I would have had to give up. Who knows, I'm still young. I just turned 26 in December. That's young, right? Kind of. I, have, I still have a lot of time to decide what the heck I want to do. Kind of. Not, not a whole lot of time. Oh god, see, that's the negativity crawling in. <laughs> oh well, that's gonna be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.